So here's another example that we'll see how to use the comparison theorem to see that if this improper integral converges or not. And we will not be integrating this directly. If you know how to integrate that, leave a comment down below and let me know. But anyways, in order for us to use the comparison theorem, we have to first come up with something that we know much better, right? Either something that converges or something that diverges, right? So the deal is that, okay, let's just go ahead and pick the highest power of x on the top. And on the bottom, we have square root of x to the fifth power, like that. And we'll play around with the powers and see what we end up with from there. So let's put down what we know right here. Let me just still keep it as integral from 2 to infinity. On the top, we just have x squared now over, we just care about the square root of x to the 5, right? On the bottom like this. And you know the trouble is that once you have the minus 1 inside here, this integral becomes so much harder to integrate. Uh, seriously, I don't know if I can integrate that or not. But anyways, this is much better, right? Alright, so perhaps we can work out some powers, right? This is x to the second power, and at the bottom, let me just write it down. We have the integral from 2 to infinity, x to the second power over, square root becomes the half power, but this is x to the 5, so altogether it's x to the 5 over 2 power, like this. And now, this is x squared over x to the 5. We have to figure out the new power. To do so, it will be just x to the, we do 2, minus 5 over 2, right? 2 is the same as 4 over 2, minus 5 over 2 is the same as negative 1 half, and then that's a new power, and of course we are still talking about integral. And because you have the negative exponent, you can bring that down to a denominator, so in other words, this is 2 to infinity, this is 1 over uh, x to the 1 half power. And of course, if you want to write it as square root of 2, up to you, that's okay as well. Anyways, this right here, it's also the p theorem, right? The p test for the improper integral, or the p integral. Um, you shouldn't let the starting value bother you. As long as it's bigger than 1 and then to infinity, this is definitely okay. This is from 2 to infinity. The conclusion of the convergence, it stays the same, right? As long as this is bigger than 1. Anyways, right here we see that p is 1 half. So write down p is equal to 1 half. But you have to indicate that 1 half is less than or equal to 1. Because in this case, this improper integral that we know right here, it actually diverges by the p theorem for the uh, improper integrals. All right? That's the first version as well from 2 to infinity, the infinite interval situation. OK, now. Second part, we are going to do the check. Let's write down the things that we're trying to work out on the left-hand side. So we have integral from 2 to infinity. On the top is x squared over square root of x to the fifth power minus 1 dx. And on the right-hand side, put down the things that we have and that we know much better of, right? So integral from 2 to infinity, 1 over x to the 1 half dx, like this. In this case, we are using a divergent, right? So we're talking about the second situation. And once again, a divergent means that we are dealing with past infinity. Both of these terms right here are greater than zero. So this is infinity. I hope to show that this improper integral is bigger than or equal to infinity, so that I can draw a conclusion this has to be a bigger infinity. Therefore, it will diverge. Right? I can show that, right? If you put this down and say less, this is less than or equal to infinity, I don't know. It could still be infinity right here, but it can be finite. I don't know. So in order for us to be able to draw a conclusion from the check right here, be sure when you are using a divergent here, I want to set up this to be greater than or equal to. So I hope to show that this improper integral is greater than or equal to something that we know much better, and it happens to diverge right here, right? I hope to show you that this is greater than or equal to zero, greater than or equal to infinity, so that this will also be you know, a bigger infinity, so it diverges. Anyways, I don't know though, so I will put on question mark. And if you would like to indicate on the side, um, this is always going to be positive, 
this is always going to be positive. We don't have any negative terms, right? So you can indicate it right here, or you can indicate it anywhere along the line. Anyways, the limit of the integrations are the same, so we care about the functions. x squared over square root of x to the fifth power minus 1. And I hope to show this is greater than or equal to 1 over x to the 1 half, right? And because both of them are greater than zeros, uh, and this turn, this turn, this turn, this turn, all positive. So I can just cross multiply without switching the inequality symbol, right? So on the left hand side, I have x squared times x to the 1 half. And then on the right hand side, I have this times that square root of x to the fifth minus 1. On the left hand side, I have to add the powers, which is x to the 2 plus 1 half is 5 over 2. Or well, still don't know yet, technically, right? So I put on question marks. And right here is x to the 5 minus 1 itself, the square root. Okay, this is 5 over 2 power, which is the same as square root of x to the fifth power greater than or equal to square root of x to the fifth power minus 1. Is this clear to draw conclusion up to this inequality? Yes, right? Because on the left hand side, we have square root of x to 5. On the right hand side, we have square root of x to 5, which they match exactly, but inside, you are subtracting 1. So overall, the right hand side is smaller. So right here, I think it's very clear that we can indicate that this is a true inequality. So that's great, because whenever we end up with a true inequality, and the setup has to follow along, right? We can draw a conclusion, and I will put this down here. Here we are going to say something about the original. The conclusion is, the original improper integral 2 to infinity x squared over square root of x to the fifth power minus 1 dx. This right here also, also what? Diverges, because we are using divergent earlier, right? Keep in mind, the things that you are trying to do and the things that you know, they always have to have the same conclusion, okay? If you follow the um, comparison theorem, right? They always have to have the same conclusion for the divergence. Or di uh, divergence or convergence. Anyways, this right here also diverges, and let's do our citation, right? Let's quote the theorem. By the comparison theorem with the one that we use over there, which is integral from 2 to infinity, 1 over x to the 1 half power dx. Alright? So, that's it. And you should check out my next video. I'm going to go over something that's slightly more complicated.